Eva's Village empowers those in need with the hope, support, and resources to live stable, healthy, and productive lives. Eva's Village was created at a time when there was great need. There were a lot of people that were suffering from homelessness and from addiction, and Monsignor Puma saw that as he walked the streets of the community and decided there was something that needed to be done and he sprung into action. People come to Eva's Village for a whole host of reasons. We currently have a big, beautiful, bright community kitchen that people are welcome to come to for breakfast or lunch. We have two shelters, one for men, one for women, and it's more than just a clean, safe bed. When people come to the shelter, we're really trying to understand what their challenges are so we can address them, help them combat them, and get them into permanent, stable housing. And then we have a whole host of recovery-oriented programs that help people with addiction. This goes from peer-to-peer -peer based support, like Narcotics Anonymous meetings, AA meetings, all the way up to clinical programs and residential clinical programs, such as our halfway houses. When you get to come in here and actually see the people that sit down, that are eating, um, there's a sense of like community that's here that you normally like, two people that you wouldn't see maybe or you wouldn't think would be congregating together, they're helping each other out. All I needed to know to want to help out was that I knew that it was direct outreach, that people were just were donating their time and their effort and... It's important to um, give people a place where they have hope and consistency and um, support that they need in order to, you know, face the world. They're really focused on the community around them and doing the most they can with what they have. I think it's just, it's an environment where people can feel comfortable coming in and um, encouraged to come back. We make sure our volunteers are ready to, ready to serve the people. Then making sure that the people are taken care of the best way they could, making sure that they hear their story, and make sure they get fed and taken care of. It was a home for mothers, mothers with children, fathers who's trying to get themselves better to make sure they could do something for their family. And we know we could feed somebody not to be out there going through the garbage and all that. We tried to do our best to take care of everybody we could. Well, my life before Eva's, I was selling drugs, using drugs, and my life was a total mess. You know, I was in and out of rehabs and detoxes and prisons and I was just fed up with everything the streets selling drugs using drugs and I just wanted a better life for myself I you know I I, I knew that I just deserved better you know than what I was dishing out I had a lot of growing to do even at the age of 50 the drugs took me away from my mother, my brothers and sisters, because I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be around nobody like that. That's a feeling that I never want again. I never want that feeling again. I love Eva's Village. I love working here because I'm around people today that day. I don't know, believe in me, I guess, like, that trust me, that rely on me. I get to help somebody not go through what I went through. That helps me a lot. That, that keeps me going. That keeps me from not picking up not using the drug. We envision a future where individuals in our community are thriving and prospering, and Eva's Village will be here until that goal is met.